Hi folks, I'm Josh and welcome back to Tabs. We're going to check out what's coming in the updates and then do some commenter battles. First off, this is just the best. It's a sticky hands unit and I'm not going to ruin the surprise. If you've seen it, then you know, like, this is, this is the thing coming up. That's not where you want to be touched, but then you definitely don't want to just float off into the air. Like, the first time I saw this, I have no idea what to expect. Okay, I hadn't seen the whole video. Interesting. <gasps> that is not what I expected. I, I saw the first half and I was like, wow, gotta make a video. But then, like... It's like uh, the metal, the new Metal Gear game where you just ab abduct soldiers. Except you don't—they don't get abducted. They get, and he's still clinging on to his bum as well. That's just one of the, the the funniest things I've seen, especially the AI in that one. That's really impressive. They're really doing some smarter stuff than just. Two people run at each other. Smush, smush, smush. Blah, blah. Do you do you not pine for the simpler days like I do? And I was like, oh, there's a person with a sword. Oh, there's a person with an arch archer. Whatever. And then they crash together. But no, look, look at what is happening now. This is a harpoon unit. Obviously, not the final art, but it's not. It's not quite working yet. Guy looks like he's made out of some kind of. Uh, Toffee just being stretched out like, uh, hmm. Well, I mean, if if you're gonna get rid of units, uh, spreading their parts across, whoa, in the face. No, that was the arm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the little the little X's over the eyes. Yeah, they're pretty pretty deaded. Oh ho. -ho. They look like Looney Tunes characters going, Ugh. this should definitely not be patched out. I want, I want this in the game or just, or just a unit. Actually, no, that's something I'm going to show you later. There is a unit that just wibbles and wobbles and is like super stretched out. That's not quite the same thing. Um, oh, before I forget, one thing I should mention. <laughs> Well, there go your polygons. Uh, one thing I should mention is I haven't been given the tabs closed beta or alpha or whatever, so I can't show you the latest um, units uh, aside from in these kind of trailer videos, I guess I guess we could call them. Come on, Landfall. I really want it. Do you reckon the Magnum will win them over? No. I'm not very good at being Zoolander. But, as I, say, I said earlier, with their adventures into smarter units, they're teaching them to climb. Kind of. That's not really... It's not really climbing. Uh, it's pretty pretty cool acrobatics, but it's not climbing. Uh, I actually really, really want this. Because the most annoying thing is when a unit just gets stuck on a rock, and then... Uh, it's entirely useless. Like one unit gets stuck on one side of the rock, the other units uh, that like it's li literally the only one left. Ah, sorry, I've gone into rant mode, kind of, and then they both get stuck on the opposite side of the rock, and just nothing happens. Is what I'm saying. This will hopefully fix that. I I kind of like the ziggurat as well. The the kind of squared off pyramid. It looks awesome. It's a uh, it's a good looking. <laughs> Why do the is that supposed to be like the Taekwondo people? I think it is. That's is that how Taekwondo people climb? Taek oh, he, he stood on his bum. I mean, if you, if you want to get right to the top, it might help. This is the weird stretched out unit I wanted to show you. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> dancing. It's break dancing. And by break, I mean smash. Smash your enemies and, like, it just looks really creepy. I always thought that it was impossible to make a tabs unit 
not look hilarious, but this, this is just weird. Like, I just, he's grab, he's grabbing people by the crotch with his foot. He's, he's doing the head spin that I don't know the name of. It's just super fast. This is probably, it is, it looks like it was the super peasant that broke. And as they tried to fix it, this is what happened. Because I know the, the super peasant was... But, and some of them are still alive. Maybe it's not quite as powerful as the super peasant, maybe. But, yeah, the super peasant was bugged. Maybe that's why it's got golden eyes. I'm thinking, I'm thinking logically through all this. But, yeah, the last four of them, is it? Not even <laughs> just a full club blow to the face can beat this one. Oh, Oh, just a, a super smooth backflip, and he, he's on his way. He's just like, well, I better finish this with a flourish. Backflip, yeah. Now onto the comment battle. CT5597, Jesse had an awesome idea. Order 66. I always forget the numbers. <laughs> but this is the evil clones from the Empire voices the Jedi. Obviously, we don't have the Neon faction just yet, uh, but these are about as Jedi as it's gonna get. And there's the lasers flashing by, apart from the muskets. Yeah, this is going, and these are the pad ones over here. They're pretty useless. Yeah, this is going exactly as it did in the films. Oh, there, and uh, Darth Vader himself, the red uh, samurai master. I always want to say Jedi master, but he is a Jedi master. There he goes, Darth Vader himself, with his, uh, I mean, that's kind of a Darth Vader-y hat. It's got a few more, uh, points on it, but yeah, he's a goofy Darth Vader. Nice. Yeah, that went exactly how I'd expect it to, especially with the super long-range stuff with, yeah, so many muskets versus samurai. That did not end well for the Jedi. Now this is one of my favorite ideas I've heard in a very long time. Clone drone in the danger zone. This on the left is the clone with his clone drones. And then there's the Mark I sword robots and then the Mark II sword robots and obviously Mark III sword robots, samurai masters and the various... <laughs> I, I tried to paste these uh, super boxes out so they, uh, the clones would come in as as the first one died. Maybe I need to up the difficulty. I might try this again with more, just more units. Um, and maybe stack all of the clone drones at the very back. But yeah, these are like the Mark II range archer robots. If you haven't seen Clone Drone in the Danger Zone, it's one of my favorite games this year. It's just... That was a burp. It was... <laughs> It's one of my favorite games this year because it's just so much fun uh, and, and like the destruction you can do is a ton of fun. Yeah, I'm gonna up the amount of units in this. A few more thieves, a few more footmen, a few more archers, a few more muskets. <laughs> yeah, this might be overpowered, but whatever. Samurai Masters. <laughs> ton of Samurai Masters at back there. Okay, you lot, you are the clones. You can't come in until we've all had our fun. Uh, where do I put you? Just just right at the back so you don't fall off. But, so you come in, whoops. Don't have that many clones. One. And then, like, stick one behind a tree. Do you reckon he's gonna get caught? Uh, let's st stick them behind the tree so they, they get caught and see if that changes anything. Okay, your time to shine, clone. What upgrades do you have? Clearly not the jetpack upgrade. Maybe the the one that's all about the swords deflecting stuff? You haven't got many upgrades. And as usual, the uh, the archer robots. Very handy in destroying the sword robots by shooting them in the back of the head. I always appreciate a little bit of friendly fire to friendly, you know, neighborhood help me out. Because I am apparently friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Wow. Super Boxer is way more OP than I expected. I'm gonna start this again, but with just one. Just one, no clones for you. You didn't get the clone upgrade. You, did, you didn't think that far ahead. Now you've just gotta beat off an army all by yourself. Uh, that's not what I meant. It just came out wrong. 
<laughs> but really, there's a lot of beating going on. Uh, a lot of, a lot of pointy things in there. If you were a clone drone, you would have been uh, sliced up long, long ago into the little cube voxely chunks. Next comment. Now, Dank God Carlo Zamasu has some interesting ideas about uh, what anime fans like, but this is on the left, the gym club versus the anime weebs. Be proud of your weebiness, everyone. Your favorite anime is garbage, but that, don't let that stop you from enjoying it. This is just a cluster funk of, uh, like the buff dudes and like, I always enjoy the buff dude versus nerd with superpower arc in, recently I saw Mob 100, I can't remember what it's properly called, but the one who did, by the person who did uh, One Punch Man, that, that was good. And like him joining the gym club, that was so funny. But yeah, turns out the gym club, they actually have muscles and not just, you know, replica samurai swords. Uh, so sorry, uh, anime nerds. Anime is... My personal opinions are distinct from the person... If you go and read this comment, he says some quite mean things. But it's, it's all in good fun, I'm sure. Uh, However, having a super boxer, that like that one OP dude, as uh, he is called, just uh, just doesn't cut it with all your. Uh, apparently, the thieves are just anime fans with knives. I uh, I don't know what that says about anime fans or knives, but yeah, anime can be fun, but don't let it ruin your life. I don't, I don't know where I'm going with this. I don't want to be mean to anyone. Yes, I do, actually. Anime sucks, but I'm a backer gaijin, so what do I know? Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed, hopefully. But if you have, leave a like and let me know what your commenter army is in the comments, obviously. And until next time, hopefully when I have the neon update mustache. God, I'm going to get so many angry comments. Please. Feed me with your anger.